Good evening, I'm Victoria Idoni. The city of Paducah says a new development project could help transform their downtown. It's called the City Block Project, but not everyone's happy about it. A group of more than a dozen concerned residents gathered in Dolly McNutt Plaza across from City Hall today, where the council meeting was being held. Those gathered had different reasons for being there, but they all agree the City Block Project is not what Paducah needs. I'm for a downtown hotel, but not there. The downtown next hotel should be over close and adjacent to the convention center to help uh, uh, attract uh, more uh, conventions because we don't have enough rooms. How are we going to help our local business owners if we keep selling our soul to big corporations that are out of town that don't live here? If we don't take care of what we have and help the people that we have, we're never going to thrive. The gathering outside happened as the Paducah City Commission met inside City Hall. That was a closed door meeting, which is why residents chose to gather nearby. At the meeting, the commission introduced the ordinance to enter into a development agreement with Wayland Ventures, a company that has developments in Louisville and Dayton, Ohio. Current Mayor Brandy Harless tells News 3 the city and the developer are working together on community concerns. We did hear concerns from the community about parking. We heard concerns from the community um, about view uh, from the condos that are right next to that block. And so Wayland went back to the drawing board a couple of times. The plan now is for a hotel, residential, shops, and an area for city events. The money for the project is set to come from tax increment financing or TIF. That means the developer is subsidized to get the project going by diverting a portion of their future taxes to help finance it. After the presentation and public comments, Commissioner Gerald Watkins made a motion to table this ordinance for the development agreement until after the coronavirus pandemic. The motion failed by a two to three vote with Commissioner Watkins and Commissioner Abraham voting to table the project. The City Commission is set to vote on August 11th.